Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to create a multiple slides page header with the Content Slider module. The Content Slider module allows you to create a header slider using the Page Builder. This is especially useful when you want to create a header with multiple main messages that probably link to different sections of your site. So, since we are going to use this module as a page header, I create a new content block that will be assigned to my main page, and I insert a title for this newly created block. To better understand the content slider, I start the tutorial with a backend builder that can help to outline the structure and general functionalities in a visual and schematic way. In this tutorial, I want to create a header of two slides with different skins, one dark and one light, I open the module selection and I insert in the page a content slider module. When the module is initialized, it is presented with a user interface pretty similar to a newly created simple row, plus an add slide button that is used to add one or additional slides to the slider. So let's start editing our slider. I open the row container settings and I set a height I prefer, in this case something between 80 and 85%. Let's set 82%. In the Style tab, I apply a background. This background will be visible during the loading moment of the page. Now I can edit our first slide, that as you can see, it's basically an inner row. I add a background colour, this time it is the background of the single slide, and also a background image from the media library. I also add a dark overlay that will help to contrast the text with the background, and I set the overlay opacity to 80%. At this point I open the column settings, and I centre the text vertically and horizontally. Moreover, I change the skin to dark, in this way all the elements I will insert into this single slide will depend on the dark skin. They will be bright to contrast with the dark image that we have inserted in the slide background option. Here we are. Now it's time to insert a heading module with our main message. I open the module selection, I insert a heading, I paste my text and I modify the font size to 100%. I also add a button module that will be our call to action and I modify the text on the button. Let's save our content block and move to the front end editor to continue our edits. Remember that you can choose to use either the back end editor or the front end editor alternatively as you prefer. In this video, I use first the back end editor and then the front end editor to show you both options. As per project, I want to create a completely different slide from my first one so that they contrast each other. So let's add a second slide from the Add Slide button, that in the front end builder is positioned in the Content Slider controller. I open the settings, I set a white background colour and I set a light image. Here's our new background image. I open the column settings and I centre the text vertically and horizontally. This time I don't need to change the skin, since this is a light slide and light is the default value set in the theme options. Here we are. Now I can add a heading. So I open the module selection, I insert the heading, I paste my text and I modify the font size to 100%. And I add a call to action button module in this slide too. Perfect. We have two different skin slides and they work amazing. Since when you use the content block with the front end builder, 
the transparency of the menu is automatically deactivated to avoid possible problems of overlap between the content to be edited and the menu itself. Let's check our final page that I connected with our content block by the page options. Here we are, and as you can see, we have the skin in action. Please note how the logo and menu change color to grant contrast with the active slide. The great thing about the content slider is that everything is created through the page builder, which means you have a lot of options available. Do you need to add a secondary heading? Do you need an icon, an image, a special effect? No problem. For example, let's add an animation to the column container to create an appearance effect. So I open the column settings and in the animation tab, I set zoom in or oh, bottom to top. Let's use bottom to top. I repeat the same on the second slide. Here we are. It's that simple. The slider can be further configured by clicking the edit button of the content slider. Here there are options and settings such as the transition type that I now set to fade, the navigation speed that I set to 700, and whether to activate the loop and various options for the navigation arrows and dots. Let's save the module settings. Let's update the content block. Let's refresh our page. And here we are. We have our fade transition between slides and the smooth animation effect that we applied to the columns container. Thanks to the content slider, we created a cool animated header with multiple slides in a few minutes without the need to rely on external heavy plugins. Last note, if you have installed the Wireframes plugin that is part of Uncode, you have advanced examples of content slider modules already available and ready to be imported into your page. To do this, you just need to access the Wireframe plugin, browse the header section, and import one of the slider examples. Done. Now you just need to change your content. In this case, I'm changing the background image and the main heading message. And you're ready to publish your new header with multiple slides thanks to Uncode's content slider module and the Wireframes plugin.